In this project, we want to look at the impact of plastic liners and pallet shards on the quality of palm fruit. This is a collaboration project between Experico and the IRC. This is the first year of the study, so with this presentation, there will not be any results yet, but just an overview of what we are going to look at. Packaging of fruit provides tremendous benefits to the global trade and the consumer. It includes simplified supply chain logistics from the farm to the point of sale. It minimizes post harvest handling processes and cross-contamination. It protects against mechanical damage and microorganism contamination along all the steps involved in the supply chain. It minimizes water loss from fruit and thereby maintaining post office quality and extending the shelf life. Water loss can lead to shrivel in pears or lentil cell problems in apples. Different plastic liners are widely used in fruit packaging and the export industries. However, these materials have a poor recycling potential and some of them need further scientific investigation to stay in use. Due to this, the demand of using alternative liners has been increasing, like PET and high and low density polyethylene, which are more easily recyclable. Therefore, to sustain the growth potential of the fruit industry, there is a need to balance resource saving, sustainable fruit production and the packaging of fresh fruit. The project has two objectives. In the first objective, we want to investigate the impact of packaging liners on the quality of rural pears. In the second objective, we want to look at the impact of packaging liners as well as pallet shards on the quality of rural gala apples. Work plan 1 will consist out of four treatments, no liners, 15 micron and 20 micron non-perforated HDPE, and 37.5 micron non-perforated LDPE. We will be using post-controlled atmosphere for RAL, which will be stored for nine weeks in simulated shipping and handling period at minus 0.5, followed by seven days at 20 degrees. Work plan two will consist out of three treatments, no liners with no pallet shrouds, no liners with pallet shrouds, and the third treatment will be a 20 micron perforated HDPE. Post controlled atmosphere well gala will be used. It will form part of a commercial export trial of fruit being sent to the UK. We will look at different quality parameters, um, assess the amount of external and internal disorders, determine the TSS, TI fresh firmness, as well as spill color. Determine what the fruit weight loss was over the storage period, as well as calculate the amount of plastic as a weight component of the pallet. I want to acknowledge Woodcrest Science and the IRC for funding this project, as well as the IRC and Experico technical teams. Thank you.